What is going on everyone? MD14 here for you. I'll be showing you guys the best settings for your expert for streaming as of right now for 2018. I'm running version 3.5 of XSplit, um, which I find is the best version ever. 3.4 was included a lot of great features and everything, but something wasn't talking with, this, with the CPU and GPU settings of things. They worked out all the kinks on that. Three, and this is just my opinion, but 3.5 is the best version of XSplit, and you will not be disappointed by this. So. If you want to try out XSplit, actually, there's a link down in the description. Um, you can try out the trial. If you like what you if you like what you like, <laughs> you can use my referral code MD14. You'll get 10 percent off your order. You can try it out for a month. You can try it for three months. You can try it for a year. Um, but if you want to save 10 percent? Use my referral code MD14. Let me show you guys the best settings for XSplit. Um, so I'm gonna go hit the, hit the little gear right here. If this is the first time using it, if this is not your first time using it, then you should know what these settings are. Basically, we hit broadcast and hit the gear. Um, now I'm on Twitch. If you guys want to check me out, shame this plug right here. Just check my out, check out my description down below, uh, which is right over there, somewhere down, somewhere down there. You'll see it anyway. Uh, these settings are for Twitch. Now you can use the settings if you're on YouTube or mix search. All you need to know is your upload speed and say for example you have an upload speed of 10, then you want to set your setting to like 3500 because as long as you have a steady connection, it should be fine. You don't want to use the full 10, uh, 10 up upload speed because it will not work that way. Just use like 30% of it and then you're then you'd be fine. Uh, but if you want to push the barriers, if you have a really good upload speed, like of 100 or something like that, then sky's the limit, basically. But for me, um, check out wherever your bit rate is, and this is where you put it in. It's right over here. Your bit rate will be right over here. Um, I use 2500 just to keep the stream smooth and everything down. I eventually I kind of tweak things to see where I'm at and everything. But just as of right now, I just use 2500 to keep my stream up and running. Um, always check your server so right now the best server for me is in quebec canada i live in toronto canada even though there's a toronto server yet quebec is the best one don't know why but they will actually look expert will actually check for you to see what is the best server for you and then to even check out your connection you can test it out it has its own built-in um test bandwidth it will see how stable your connection is and it will give you a complete log of everything as well um so after you sign in here with your twitch mixer or um, YouTube right here you'll sign in right here and then you test your bandwidth do a couple of tests make sure your internet connection is really steady the test usually runs around I would say like a minute and it will see how long your connection is stable for that minute and everything um, now the best settings is um, right over here as you can see I use 30 frames per second if you're a lot of people just use 30 frames per second if you're playing like a fighting game the like Dragon Ball Fighter Z or Overwatch, um, Fortnite, wherever that, anything like that. Um, if you want to push it to 60, you can. You just go right here. You can change it to 60 frames. Um, or sorry, you click this gear right over here, and then you change it right over here for all that stuff. And then you change your video size and everything. But for what I do, I don't play those games as much. Um, so this is this is the best settings that I use for myself. Keep in mind of your bit rate. You don't want to make it too high as well. Um, if you have a, if you put your bit rate. If you put your bitrate extremely high, um, some viewers won't be able to see it. I know in 2018 you figured that everyone has good internet. Funny enough, not everyone has um, has good internet. People in India are still only now getting internet and everything. So that's just to show you that internet is still not everywhere. It's still not at the speeds that you think they are. Just because it is fast for you and it's been fast for you in your area for a long time, it means it's fast for everywhere else. So keep that in mind. And don't make your bit rate like 7,000 or something like that. It's, it's kind of uncalled for. Keep it around. If you're really looking for a 60 frames per second or some ridiculous, like, four, like no one's streaming 4K. But like 4,000, I think, is more than enough for anyone, basically. But anyway, that is to each their own. Um, basically, the best settings, whatever, whatever your bit rate is, save it for that right there. Make sure you put have this mode at CBR as well. Um change your video size if you just want to stream 1080p stream at 1080p 60 frames or 30 frames um you do it right here and everything um and then sorry about that noise um and then you want to keep your bit rate at 128 for your audio now the best part right here 
A lot of people leave this by default by X264. If you have an NVIDIA video card, you will want to change this over. This is going to use your GPU to NVIC H264, and then that will just primarily use your GPU on your on while you're streaming. Um, and your CPU will stay down because once your CPU gets extremely high, especially you're playing those games, if you if you're playing like a lot of uh, PC games, um, it will tend to use your CPU. Developers use different codings and everything like that, so some games might be better for GPU, some games might be better for CPU. Um, now I found I find for myself having it at NVIC H two six four makes streaming a lot better. I have a one stream setup, so. If you haven't figured it out yet, this is mainly just for a one stream setup. If you have, if you have a second PC, you should have no problems, to be honest. So that's just my oven. I was cooking something while I was making that. Um, so basically, you will just keep that settings right over here, and um, that will be the best settings right there. Stop beeping! I'm coming to take you off oven. Now, there's one more setting that a lot of people don't know about XSplit as well. You might want to hit tools right here and hit settings, and you want to go to events. Um, change the prefer gpu for video settings uh for sorry for video processing um that way it will fully use the gpu and things will keep it'll keep the percentage numbers lower down and uh, you will have a smoother broadcasting um now i believe this is the best settings for for um for xsplit for 2018 um, um one more thing if you want to test it out yourself um go back to your gear right over here and you will hit your stream key enter your stream key and then you will see especially on twitch they have a setting where it will be all test out your stream without like go live without actually people well basically go live without going live um you will see you see that settings right over there um i'll leave a link in the description for to show you guys actually how to do that um but i'm not gonna show you guys because it'll show my stream key and everything but uh you just enter that code you enter that um that key in you enter your stream key in and you enter that code in you you can test it you can go live and you can actually watch your gpu settings and your gpu settings run a couple of games run uh play a couple of games to see if it will if things keep down and everything so especially if you're testing out if you especially want to test out 60 frames per second or a certain bandwidth or something like that test it out um and then that is the best way to see if the current if the new settings that you put are working for you um and yeah that's the i i think that is the best settings for xsplit as of right now 2018 of november so now you guys know what uh, when i was recording this uh if a newer version comes out for xsplit i will um, update this video and if this video was helpful let me know if you guys have any questions if you guys have your own settings basically leave the comments down below questions down below any comments down below if you like the video thumbs it up if you didn't like it thumbs it down so i know um, what i need to improve on and everything and to be honest if you guys need any help as well feel free to reach out to me i am md14 on twitter um you can at me and i'll try to get back to you as, like, as soon as possible um, but as for now, everyone, as always, have yourself a damn good one.